Welcome everybody. My name is Brad Conrad. I'm the director of the Society of Physics Students and Sigma Pi Sigma, the Physics Honor Society. And I am super excited to welcome you to our centennial celebration. Sigma Pi Sigma is turning 100 years old today, December 11th, 2021, since we started on December 11th, 1921 at Davidson College in North Carolina. And what we've made for you today is a, a small collection of videos to help celebrate our centennial. So it's three parts. Uh, the first part will be Dr. Tony Sansi, former SPS president and former director of SPS and Sigma Pi Sigma. And she's gonna talk about some of the elements of the history and the foundation of SPS and Sigma Pi Sigma. It's gonna be really exciting. Additionally, we have Dr. Willie Rockward. He's former Sigma Pi Sigma president and former president of the National Society of Black Physicists. Uh, and he's gonna have a really exciting talk for you on the four pillars of Sigma Pi Sigma and how that translates to today and our lives 100 years after our foundation. And then lastly, we're gonna celebrate uh, as a collective the people that have earned SPS and Sigma Pi Sigma service awards in recent years because all of those people have given their time, effort, and energy in order to make all of SPS and Sigma Pi Sigma and most importantly, the students and the faculty in the departments what they are today. So on behalf of SPS, Sigma Pi Sigma, the Executive Committee, the National Council, and the American Institute of Physics, thank you all for joining us and I hope you enjoy today's presentation. Hi everyone, this is Jim Bogart. I'm the current president of Sigma Pi Sigma and I wanted to wish all of us happy birthday, the 100th anniversary of Sigma Pi Sigma, and really quickly give you an overview of um, some of the kind of tenants and uh, uh, elements that the um, society was founded upon. So to contrast Sigma Pi Sigma and SPS, the Society of Physics Students, the Society of Physics Students is open to everyone who has an interest in physics and astronomy. There's SPS chapters that are chartered at two-year colleges, universities, colleges across the country. Over a hundred of these chapters um, are established, kind of what you think of as a physics club. So SPS is the professional society of undergrad physics students and their mentors open to everyone. You have to have an annual membership to kind of stay in it. Sigma Pi Sigma by contrast is the physics honor society and it's housed within SPS. So Sigma Pi Sigma chapters are restricted to colleges and universities of recognized standing that offer a strong physics or astronomy program. Uh, it's a one-time membership if you're invited in due to um, high academic achievement. Once you sign in, you're a member for life. And there's over 100,000 lifelong members and Sigma Pi Sigma exists to foster opportunities to connect and contribute to the broader physics community. Uh, these two organizations share a common constitution as well. So Sigma Pi Sigma itself is founded upon four pillars. The four pillars are to honor scholarship, to encourage interest in physics, to promote service, and to provide fellowship. So with that, I again want to say happy birthday and hope to see everyone in person at our um, in-person celebration next October. Happy birthday to all of us. Hello everyone, hello everyone, how are we doing today? Uh, I am grateful and thankful always for this opportunity to just share with you, I appreciate um, my, my friends and colleagues at Sigma Pi Sigma and also as a Society of Physics students. Can't keep saying that, I'm just say SPS uh, as, uh, for this opportunity to, to, to share a few words about the centennial. The centennial is awesome. I mean, it's, I wasn't there in the beginning, but in my journey thus far, I, am, I had an opportunity to be in various parts of Sigma Pi Sigma, to be engaged, um, even from starting with SPS as a zone counselor on up to serving as president uh, for two consecutive terms. And um, I am ever so grateful. Now we're at a point where you all are about to be come into this family, this family, this family of science, family of physicists, family of those who believe in four fundamental principles, four, four foundational principles, which is scholarship, service, honor, and fellowship. That's what Sigma Pi Sigma is all about. That's what the hundred years that started back in December the 11th of 1921 and has come to this junction now in time where we're at the crust, at the brink, at the tip of our hundredth year celebration. 
It's about, it's about those fundamental principles. And I just want to share a few words with you about those things. So if you, if you, if you, if you bear with me for a moment, now I'm going to take my glasses off. I'm getting serious now. Okay. No, but bear with me for a moment on four things that we ought to look at at Sigma Pi Sigma that, that really touches my heart about about a hundred years of existence, a hundred years. Scholarship, service, honor, and fellowship. That is the foundation. If those of us in physics, we know that, hey, uh, a one point, one point is unstable, especially depending on where you're at. Two points, oh, it gives you a line, right? Three points is very difficult, but four gives you a solid foundation. And these are the four points does for SPS and Sigma Pi Sigma. Scholarship, I'll take each word and I'll give you another word to translate it in a modern context, okay? For scholarship, let's use the word living and learning. For service, we'll use the word giving and growing. For honor, we use the word ca caring. Caring, that's, that's something within, within. And then for the word fellowship, we use sharing. If you notice in a four, in the four, a four uh, leg foundation, any one of the legs can connect with each other. But all four them together gives you a firm foundation on to build a life, to build an organization, to build a people. And that's what we did at Sigma Pi Sigma. It's about those four. That's why we say Sigma Pi Sigma is a family. It's a, we're like a family, not just a community. We are a family, right? Because a, a community consists of several families, but we are the foundation. We're the foundation, especially in science. Okay? And, and so when we think about this, we think about scholarship is about living, and learning. That means someone gave to you. I'm a physicist now, but someone helped me come up, up along the way. I was in a, in a mindset, I'm still in a mindset of learning. So in order to learn something, I mean, someone had to give you something to learn, uh, help you with your knowledge growth, right? And so in, in scholarship, in Sigma Pi Sigma, scholarship is very important because it tells us that we're gonna have a, a life of learning. We learn every day. We learn in every way. We love physics. Physics is just the fundamental, it's just the basics behind what? Okay, let me give you the basic definition of physics. Physics is the science of describing natural phenomena, nature, that can be verified by experiment. All we are doing as physicists it's just trying to verify what nature does all every day. We're just trying to understand natural phenomena. And, that, and that's what it means. We, we're trying to learn. And someone has helped me to learn along my journey. They've given to me knowledge, understanding. They've given me problem sets to struggle over. And then through that struggle, I'm learning because through struggle brings strength, scholarship, living and learning. And then you think about the, uh, the second foundational pillar is what? Is service. Scholarship and service kind of like a, a tug of war. They go hand in hand, okay? In, in, in that with service, with scholarship, you're living and learning, meaning someone else giving to you. But then in, in service, you guess what? You're giving and growing, okay? Because now what I've learned is that I'm at a point in my journey where I can begin to give more. Now, let me, let me share with you as students. You, don't think that you have to get to become a professor to give. You can start giving right now. You can give to, to your peers. You got things to share with and give to those who are coming up behind you, a step or two behind you, just like you can even help those who are a step or two ahead of you. Fact about it, students can even help professors. I know that sounds strange, but guess what? Let me tell you something. When my students engage in the class, they engage in my classes asking me questions, right? That means they have to study, do a little 
you know, a little bit of work on their own ahead of time. And, and then, but when they come into class and they ask good questions, ask critical questions, they even ask questions I, that either I've forgotten or never thought about. So what they're doing, they're giving me intellectual stimulation. That's what we love in physics, to be intellectually stimulated. All right. And, and yes, yes, we give in our resources and we give in our time and we give in our talents. Right. And so that's what Sigma Pi Sigma is about. Not only in living and learning, but also giving and growing. Which leads us to the last two pillars, which also go hand in hand, which are honor and fellowship. Caring and sharing. When, when, when in honor, to care, that means you have to have something within. You, you, I kind of call it, uh, let me see, it's like a moral compass that deals with the character of a person. That's something you, you have to develop on your own. Yes, others around you externally, they may share things and give you ideals and thoughts, but you get to fashion and mold your own character. You get to go into the, 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 the superstore, the Walmart of life, and pull from the shelf of what you want to use to develop your own character. I chose to use some love and compassion, right? That, that, that's part of, of, of my honor and growing. I, I call it, I, I, have a, I have a space in my life for compassion. That's, that, that's what it means to care about someone. I care about those who come, in, who come in the physics community behind me. I care about those who are in the physics community with me right now. And I definitely care about those who have placed a path before me to even get to the point where I'm at now, who are, who are my elders in the community, elders in the family. That's what happened with Sigma Pi Sigma at Davidson College way back in December 11, 1921. They set a mark, a path, for us so we can enjoy this 100th year right now and if we do this right we'll set a path for our great great grandchildren our great great peer physicists to enjoy the second 200 years and beyond that's what honor is about it's about caring caring to give back to those who are coming along the way and then in order to care, it automatically leads into the fellowship, sharing. Caring, sharing. You share, right? That's part of the care. If I care internally, it's gonna, it's gonna make me externally share. And that's what we got. We love to hang out with not just each other, but anyone who can who love the principles or who love being part of the family and are the community of physicists. You don't have to be a physicist to be in our family. Now, we would prefer you to be a, in our family, but you don't have to be. But the, the beauty is that you got to love the mission we're about. The mission we're about is about scholarship, service, honor, and fellowship. We come together. We share ideas. We share uh, our, our, our successes and we share our failures. And really, I don't like to call them failures because failure means you can't get nothing out of it. But really, they're, they're, they're our struggles. It means it just didn't work out the way we had planned it to work that time. But if you change the conditions some, put in new boundary, boundary value conditions and so forth, guess what? You can get that desirable outcome. That's part of sharing. That's part of caring. That's part of growing and giving. That's part of living and learning. That is the family that you're coming into. The family, a hundred years of scholarship, service, honor, and fellowship. Welcome to Sigma Pi Sigma. Hope to see you around. If you're viewing this, you probably already know something about Sigma Pi Sigma, the Physics Honor Society. 
Being a part of Sigma Pi Sigma is one of the biggest honors of my physics career and an affiliation that has inspired me in so many ways. As we mark 100 years of Sigma Pi Sigma, it's good to remember that this group has a rich history of student leadership. It is good to remember the why of Sigma Pi Sigma. Why does it exist? It exists for you, physicists at all levels of your physics journey. It exists to honor outstanding scholarship in physics, to encourage interest in physics among students at all levels, to promote an attitude of service of its members toward their fellow students, colleagues, and the public, and to provide a fellowship of people who have excelled in physics. Our mission is to continue to make Sigma Pi Sigma an organization that spans not only across hundreds of unique physics programs, but also across generations of physicists now and in centuries to come. The history of Sigma Pi Sigma began in 1920 at Davidson College. This now monumental organization found its humble beginnings at the urging of students and the support of faculty that listened to them. Together, they decided that a physics honor society would be a great idea, a way to form community of individuals who excelled in their physics accomplishments. With some planning, the idea became real on December 11th, 1921, when five students and four faculty members signed their names in membership to the new organization, which they called Sigma Pi Sigma. Since its beginning, Sigma Pi Sigma has supported all the things that make physics and astronomy better. Of course, that means high achievement in physics, but as importantly, it means building community, encouraging service to community, and encouraging camaraderie among colleagues at all levels. The founders knew that it would be important to codify the names of all the individuals who collectively formed the group, a symbol of honor and value for the individual. It's no surprise that others wanted to be part of this. Three chapters were established in five years. Here we see the first of now nearly 600 red books that add new names every year to the roster of Sigma Pi Sigma members. The following year, three more chapters signed their own red books, adding their names to the growing list of Sigma Pi Sigma members. Thanks to the efforts of Marsh White and others, by 1929 there were 10 Sigma Pi Sigma chapters. More red books holding the names of those who have gone before us, alongside the names of the physicists joining today. It's in those red books that we can see the values of the society. As even though Sigma Pi Sigma was officially still a fraternity, it was already transforming to include women, as verified by the names of the women physicists among the early indu inductees. Growth continued spreading across the country with membership of over 6,000 in 53 chapters by 1948. This grew the list of those who excelled in physics. Since those first nine Davidson physicists pledged their membership in Sigma Pi Sigma, the signing of each individual name is something that most Sigma Pi Sigma members will remember at their inductions, and something that is somewhat sacred at the national office. Each and every member of Sigma Pi Sigma pens their name in the chapter roster at their institution. For every one of the nearly 600 Sigma Pi Sigma chapters, there is a twin red book in the national office that, leasts, that lists each name, every one since 1921. If you ever visit the American Institute of Physics, you could ask to see your name in a red book. Knowing that there is so much history and so many stories contained in these books verifies to me that I'm a part of a century of honoring achievement in physics, just one of over 100,000 historical members. The collection of red books contains a growing history of Sigma Pi Sigma, one name at a time, each one valued no less than all the others, forming a record of a hundred years of individual scientists who've made their mark in physics. These red books represent a living historical account of the individuals who founded and grew the community of physicists in their local areas and became part of something bigger.
Today, the traditions of the signing ceremonies are as unique as the individuals who have penned their names in the book of their chapter. From sit-down fancy dinners to outdoor picnics, from reciting a favorite physics concept to touching inductors and crushing cans, Sigma Pi Sigma allows for the creativity of the individual to flourish in the common interest of physics. Early on, it was clear that the society needed to hear from each other. Radiations, the official periodical of Sigma Pi Sigma, was established in 1931. Here you see that very first cover. And it has grown to be a valued publication that serves as a connector between members around the globe. All the new traditions developed by generations of Sigma Pi Sigma members have added flair to the traditional symbols of the society. Historically, members received a key emboldened with the voltmeter, a lamp, and the dynamo. Today, it's more likely that inductees will receive a pin with the Sigma Pi Sigma insignia. The seal of Sigma Pi Sigma and the official motto are usually recounted only during induction ceremonies by people who can pronounce the Greek words carefully. Each induction ceremony reminds new Sigma Pi Sigma members that with the recognition of accomplishment comes a responsibility to service. Sigma Pi Sigma members can serve in their home communities and beyond, from science outreach to advocacy at the national level. Sigma Pi Sigma members serve. Sigma Pi Mem Sigma members respect the personal struggle for excellence in physics and work to support and serve the generations of students that follow through donations that provide scholarships and awards as acknowledgments of achievement and encouragements for per persistence. Most Sigma Pi Sigma members have entered the roles of the Red Book by induction in a local chapter either as students or as alumni who have distinguished them themselves. But there's a special Red Book that contains just over 120 names of those who have attained the highest level of membership in Sigma Pi Sigma. These distinguished members are those who have made valuable contributions in physics and related science at the national level. These remarkable individuals can be nominated by any local chapter but election to honorary membership is only by the National Council, the two president governing body for SPS and Sigma Pi Sigma. It was clear from the beginning that service is an important part of Sigma Pi Sigma membership. The highest award for service to Sigma Pi Sigma and SPS is the Worth Siegendaler Award given in recognition of an exemplary level of commitment and service to SPS and Sigma Pi Sigma. This award has been given only five times since 1996, and it comes with a beautiful medallion signifying the recognition. Shown here at the American Center for Physics is Elworth Siegendaler himself, for whom the award is named. He was not only a renowned scientist who worked on the Manhattan Project, but he was also an influential leader who helped drive Sigma Pi Sigma into a new era through its merger with the American Institute of Physics student sections and gave rise to the Society of Physics Students in 1968. One of the things societies do is gather together and Sigma Pi Sigma is no exception. The first national convention of Sigma Pi Sigma was held in 1928 with the first six chapters at Davidson College and a second in 1931 at Purdue when the group officially transitioned to a society and the leadership voted to remove all elements of secrecy. There were no other national meetings until 1967 when the merger between the American Institute of Physics and Sigma Pi Sigma was formalized. The first modern Congress was held in 1992 and every four years afterwards until 2019 when the time between gatherings was only three years. These formal gatherings have moved forward the ideas of diversity and inclusion, career development, social responsibility, and the role of physics in science policy. Since 2004, the gatherings have included visits to scientific sites, including the Trinity site, Fermi National Laboratory, Kennedy Space Center, Silicon Valley, and more. 
The gatherings have grown and become an invaluable experience for students and their mentors. We look forward to the next gathering in 2022 when the 100 years of Sigma Pi Sigma will be celebrated properly. Like all good things that stand the test of time, Sigma Pi Sigma and SPS have evolved. While our gathering spaces may not look the same, a lounge is a lounge is a lounge, and it serves as a community building hub of many chapters. We may not look the same or wear the same kind of clothing, but we still gather together for the same kind of reasons, to talk about physics, to get excited about what's coming next. We're drawn with a sense of purpose and the need for being with the people who have the same passion for understanding the world with physics as we do. We are drawn because we want to share the work we've done and learn about the work of others. And even when we cannot find ways to be in the same space in our lounges or classrooms or conference centers, we still find a way to gather and continue to build the great community of physicists. Physics has expanded its reach to discoveries that were only imagined by those founding students a hundred years ago. But the nature of Sigma Pi Sigma and its role in supporting the community of physics has persisted. The society stands firmly on the foundation of its history, built with sturdy pillars conceived by its student founders. Each generation will continue to pass on these traditions of academic achievement, service, encouragement, and fellowship to the next. And we have no doubt that we are in good hands with Sigma Pi Sigma moving forward, filled with talented, unique, and passionate individuals that will come together to build the community of physics and enrich the world beyond measure. Thank you for listening and thank you for all who have contributed to Sigma Pi Sigma and its great success. Hi everyone, my name is Kirk Lancester a member of the SPS National Council, and I have the honor of reading the names of the SPS and Sigma Pi Sigma Service Award winners this year. Sigma Pi Sigma Outstanding Service Awards recognize individuals and groups of individuals who have performed meritorious service in the field of physics. To Sigma Pi Sigma the organization, its members, or to a local Sigma Pi Sigma chapter. SPS Service Awards are to acknowledge outstanding chapter leaders that further the mission of SPS and aim to support the health of the organization and broader community through service. These awards are given by members, chapters, and departments to honor service and excellence within the community. We are a family at SPS and we want to acknowledge those that support others. Without further ado, this year's award winners are Andrea Robinson of Davidson College, George Spagna of Randolph Mason, Stephen Mackwell of the George Washington University, Catherine Gifford, of Adephi University, Carissa Giuliano of Adephi University, Derek Chrisholm of St. Anselm College, Jim Porter of Abilene Christian University, David Halbert of Abilene Christian University, the Peritos Corporation of the University of Sciences, Brittany Hawk of the Pennsylvania State University, Victoria Catlett of the University of Texas in Dallas, Miriam Esmet of Lycoming College, Alexander Mendusa of St. Joseph's University, Jonathan Semedio of McMurray University, Dr. Lauren Davis Jr. of Texas Lutheran University, and Ms. Lauren Balliet of Lycoming College. Thank you all for your outstanding service to the community and excellence in physics and astronomy. On behalf of the National Council, congratulations. Happy Sentinel Celebration.